Well, g'day everyone, this is Chapo. Now, this is an amazing site. Wherever you are in the world, the pandemic has had unbelievable effects on tourism. And there's no better example than this. This is the great Echo Point. So come on, let me show you how magnificent this view is here today in the Upper Blue Mountains. So, wherever you are, well, we've had so many thousands of people on our tour and we still get inquiries from people that want to come, but the borders are closed. So what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to introduce you uh, and take you back down memory lane to the beautiful view from Echo Point here in the upper blue mountains of New South Wales. Now, for those of you who have not been on our um, tour or you haven't even been to Australia, well, that's okay because I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what you're missing out on. So when the borders are open, the international tourists return, um, you're going to be on our YouTube channel and you're going to be able to come over and join up with our partners as well. We've got hotel partners we'll be announcing in the coming, coming months and other partners that you can actually link with when you come back to Australia. That's going to be magnificent. So here we are, this is the beautiful valley that everyone raves about. Scenic world, for those people that have been here, you can see the beautiful ancient rainforest that sits down there right now. They're open today. And the COVID-19, the pandemic has had a huge impact on scenic world as well. I mean, they're only open four days a week and during school holidays. And this is a, a company that is absolutely synonymous with so many great things here in the mountains. They're one of the biggest employers of young people, but they've been severely impacted. Uh, but you can see there the, uh, the scenic centre on its way down the cliff face now. You can just see it there. It's absolutely sensational. I love scenic world. It's beautiful. Mount Solitary sits out there. And let me show you, this is the big the big thing that people come to see or the uh, the feature of the Blue Mountains is the magnificent Three Sisters. I mean, they are just stunning to look at. And looking into the Kadumba Valley in the distance there, you can see that low lying fog that's just sitting there. So I really hope wherever you are in Australia, wherever you are in the world, this, you're seeing something that is absolutely amazing. This might be a revisit for you. This might be the first time you're seeing this view. But when you finally decide to come here, um, when the international borders open, you need to come on our tour, you need to link up with our partners, and you need to come and see the beautiful Blue Mountains and just embrace Australia for what it is. The Jemison Valley is one of the most sensational valleys. Look, 82% of our business comes from the United States of America. And the amount of Americans that come on to our tour and say, wow, I mean, this is better than the Grand Canyon. It's the Grand Canyon with trees. So Mount Solitary sits there beautifully. Um, the Three Sisters uh, have just been there for millions of years for the world to see. And in this modern era, they just stand proudly and a testimony to uh, an era long gone, but never forgotten. Uh, me and I, Wimla and Gunadu, the three beautiful Aboriginal names. Uh, Gundungurra and the Darig people, this is their land. We absolutely embrace that as well. Um, I'm very close to uh, some of the Darig and Gundungurra people. And I love hearing the Aboriginal stories about uh, the eras many, many, many hundreds and thousands of years ago. The world's oldest people. It's absolutely sensational. We can't wait to visit your country and we can't wait for you to visit our country. So I'm going to sign off here from Echo Point and I'll catch you later.